A good dude right there he know women he might be a bad guy but he knows women he, he been through something but when a woman loves she do love for real and i recognize that i got four daughters and that's another reason why i decided to do this i recognize that women excuse me they're just lost nobody tell them the truth but i'm gonna do it i said in my first video i'm not a relationship expert and i'm not i don't believe you could be a relationship expert i don't believe you could be an expert on people it's just way too complex and too too different Every, everybody's different it's hard to pinpoint that but i do believe i'm more like a philosopher you know i have um theories and views on profound questions and they good theories you know based on truths and also philosophers um start a movement with their theories and, and that's what i intend to do I was just made hurt. Every woman needs a copy of this. If you don't have it yet, I'm going to push it, push it, push it until I can't push it no more and until you hear people talking about it no more. Um, it's just a book of truth, man. It, it's just <laughs> nothing like you heard before. You know, it, it's different, um, but it's real which is rare sad to say is rare and tonight i want to talk about um the fact i want everybody to listen to me the topic is men repress who they are to coexist with women i say the truth lives in the dark i'm gonna bring it to light so i'm gonna say it again put this in your brain men repress who they are to coexist with women now some will say you know men speak their mind all the time and but no they don't no they don't it's sad to say that most people in relationships most people that are married don't know who their man is and I say who they are what they really like anything because they repress it because men repress who they are to get the goods and they tiptoe because of how their head gets bit off when they do speak their mind on things they like and how they feel but women say they want truth that's what they say can you handle the truth can you handle me because I'm telling you straight up and my book is telling you straight up the truth and think about how uncomfortable that probably make you feel now imagine your man saying it that you're in a relationship with the same stuff I wrote about for those who have it and for those who don't and will have it it's just raw in this world like we should not be afraid to say the things that we like if you my woman you my best friend I should be able to come home from a hard day kick back and say baby I need some real good head right now to relax me now, some people probably would be offended by that. The women that understand, I applaud you. I applaud you. You get it. Why shouldn't I be able to say that to you and you, my lady? Why? I could say it to freaks. My single days, I had, I'm sure, several women in the phone I could text that to, and she would do it. So if I'm supposed to be exclusive, you know, I'm not supposed to share with anybody. Why can't I say it to you? Why do I have to repress that? Why do I have to repress the things I like to do? It's crazy. If you really think about it. I did an event called Can We Talk? You know, with um, the vet folks of Bond. Shout out to Bond. And um, men, the women spoke freely. And the men, when they finally spoke, 
they got their heads bit off. And those who really told the most truth or kept it real, oh, they wanted them to shut up for the rest of the thing. And they were getting whispers about them all night about how horrible, oh, my God. And then the guys that spoke up and said what women wanted to hear, they got applauded. But those guys were full of it. And the men knew they were full of it. So, women, why would you want to applaud something that's not reality? The reason relationships break up, the reason why secret lives and all this go on, yes, it's immature on the man's part because he should leave, but it's just an ongoing trend of you can only have this type of woman you bring home and this type of woman for fun and the fact that you feel like you have to have two because the woman that you bring home won't understand the fun part. And that that's crazy. And if you are the woman that's home, you should be wanting to explore that man. You should be wanting to talk to the baby. What it is it that you like? Are you satisfied? What is it you like me to do? Am I doing this right? Am I licking this right? Am I t you should want to know. And then that's going to make in both parties. He should be that way for you. But both parties should want to be the best for each other. Not, okay, I got somebody to bring home that, you know, to bear my children and, and stay at home and, and wear a scarf and, and bonnets all day. And then I go over sexy lingerie house for the fun. We got to put a stop to that. Women, like, don't lose your sexy. Don't lose what you attracted. Uh, what, I'm sorry, what attracted him to you. And don't make him feel uncomfortable whenever he's honest with you. Because you'll put a man, men don't like to argue. You'll push him, push him, push him more into a box, and he will stop talking and start creeping. Plain and simple. I know this is ruffling some feathers probably. I'm just telling the truth. It happens every day, and it's happening over and over again, and it will until the end of time unless we do something about it. In my first video, I talked about the division between men and women. The division comes from the lack of communication and effective communication, as my man Gerard Harris likes to say. I love that because it doesn't matter how much you talk if it's not effective, you know, if it's not received, if you're not listening. Ladies, start listening. Like men are sexually driven. That's their makeup. And for you married people that feel like I'm making this up, and, and you religious people that feel like, you know, God is first love. And, and if a man of God wouldn't think like that because he would put his family first. That's true. But it also says, and I don't mean to get deep, in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 3 through 5. I'm going to paraphrase it, but look up what I just said. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 3 through 5. It says in so many words. Ladies, your body is not yours, and men, your body is not yours. It's the other person's to do as they please, their sexual relations, their marital duties, or the evils of the world will swallow you, or Satan will tempt you. Yes, it's spoken about, it's written about, because that's our natural makeup. Yes, it is. So, to repress that, the evils of the world swallows us every time. Um, strip clubs, um, massage parlors, um, prostitution. Evils of the world will swallow you every time because I should be able to say and do what I would do with them at home with my lady without feeling like there's something wrong with me. I should be able to say that. You know, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. A man show you a great time, he take you out and do all the things you like to do. You kiss him on the cheek and you go to sleep. So now he's in the basement with internet porn on, jerking off. You have fun all day. He's having a miserable night. Because he doesn't want a spoon. And you trying to convince him that spooning is the mature thing to do at the end of the night. No, you as lady, you should, like Chris Rock said, you should be the first lady on your knees sucking his, you know what? Plain and simple. If he's worthy, again, if he's your man, if he's your husband, he shouldn't have to repress these things. He should be able to be his wild, freaky self, wild, whatever self at home, or whether it's the racetrack or football or whatever it is, 
so he won't have to go do that elsewhere. Stop making them repress it. Stop making them feel guilty just because you don't want to put forth the effort to cater to him as you want him to cater to you. He has needs too. I know I'm probably, you know, roughing some feathers tonight, but I, the truth is all I know. You know, I was just made hurt. Follow me. I was just made hurt on Twitter. Email me, davidloymarcus at gmail.com. Find me on Facebook. Buy my email. Or, or David, I was just made hurt Marcus. I, I, I speak this. I live this. This is my movement. I believe in it. Men and women need to talk more plain and simple. Plain and simple. It should not be this division and we need better household. Like I said, I learn every day through me speaking to y'all. I learn my own self. You know, I, I speak to you as I learn sometimes. It's just what it is, and we should not be afraid to say it. I'm tired. I don't know if you're tired. I'm tired of this ongoing cycle that's been happening year after year after year. Of you know, relationships have to be one way. People in relationships, it's only about fifteen percent of people in passionate, sexual, healthy, fun, loving relationships. That's crazy. That's crazy, and that's all due to repression. That's all due to not being your woman. Or not being, you know, a woman not being your man's best friend. So you know what he like and don't like. And so you're always wanting to please. Because again, as I said in my first video, it takes effort. That's why they say relationship takes hard work. Because it's effort. It's something you consciously do for somebody of needs you can't relate to. I'm saying it again. Because you're different. So you just got to listen and fulfill Stop making your man repress it. Don't be with a man to repress who you are. I should address the men that, that come on with the phony and women talk bad about men. They come on your status updates and go, yeah, well, there's some real men left. Knowing they thinking and want to do the same things to you that the bad guys want to do. But they go ahead with the phony script. But I'm going to leave them alone right now because my video going too long. I was just may hurt y'all. Follow me. Buy the book. You can't download it on Kindle, get my uploads up, and, and I, I love all the support I'm getting in a short period of time. I love every time I see somebody update or share a video. Appreciate y'all. It all comes from love, not a bad place. I'm not trying to bash women or men. I'm just trying to bring us closer together. And honesty, the only way we're going to get there. Love y'all.